For posterity's sake, it is 9.08 on the East Coast. It is 6.08 on the West Coast. It is the 6th of May in the year of our Lord, 2023. Season 13, episode 32-ish. Because I don't have the exact count. Approximately 632 times you have been welcome to the Clubhouse podcast. Is it, is it feeding it's back at all? a little bit hot. Is it coming a little hot on me? Let me turn that down just a wee bit there. How's that? A little better? A little better? Yeah, slight. We are live to tape from Garland High School for the 18th annual Real Owl Cinema Festival. Our sixth time doing this, I do believe. Welcome. We'll explain everything to you here in a minute. My name is Rob. I am the executive producer of the Clubhouse podcast, and I am wearing my tuxedo t-shirt because it says I'm formal, but I'm here to party. To my right is my co-host and a man that I was today old when I realized this is his first time doing this particular show. He is Alex. Welcome, sir. And you did come in a little hot when I pointed that out. I, I had You were convinced I was, I was here last year. I was convinced you've done this before, and I was wrong. Across from us at the table, he is the official fact checker of Suter Gator Productions. You may know him as Igbunu, but his mama named him Don Ford, and a man who is slowly but surely learning the meaning of last one he has done. This is incredible. <laughs> and I'm he, making letters fall off the oh, wall. Oh, 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 we're going to turn. Don, Don's yeah. coming in really yeah. hot. There yeah. we go. That's a little we, better. We get the awesome guests coming up here. There's some great filmmakers and all that. We're back here again. I have fun doing yeah. this. And Don so, did the math. This is our yeah. sixth time yeah. here yeah. at so, Garland so High School doing the Real yeah, Film Festival. A Tikrism designated campus. Wasn't he in the Wu-Tang Clan at one point? I believe he was just an adjacent. Player. Ah, fair enough. Wu-Tang adjacent, okay. if you will. Mm -hmm. So here's how this works. But I'm going to go bye-bye. You do you that. Later. Well, let, get, let the kids get their food and stuff. Yeah, don't, bug them, don't bug them before food. It's yeah. the same rules with us. Well, but you, know but you, can, you can start getting stuff lined up if yes, you need I, to. I, I, do, if, if you, you want to hover near the other end of the table yes. and just <laughs> pick on the small prey normally like a we wolf. Have a red car like <laughs> no, normally we have a red carpet here. We have the snack table. Why are you complaining? Like, I'm standing in the same height as both of you sitting. You said it. I didn't. Yeah, I did. So let's explain to the people that may be hearing this, this show for the first time how this works. Garland High School in Garland, Texas has a film department. Yes. Which on its own is an amazing thing. Their, their teacher, Mr. Schubert, a high-quality human being, one of our favorite humans, and yes. his mom, yes. Patty, run the whole thing. Yes. This thing has grown and grown and grown. To the point where next year they're going to have almost 120 incoming freshmen. I believe he said 125, didn't he? Uh, the current count, he believes, is 117, but okay. we're going to round up. All year long, these students work on film. They learn about film. They watch mm -hmm. film. They even make films. Which is and why we're here. An average of five to six films per school year. Yes. At the end, or close to it, of the school year, as tonight is, they take all of the student films and they put them together. And some of them were featured at the USA Film Festival. Mm -hmm. Some of them have been featured at the Dallas International Film Festival. Yes. These kids have skins on the wall. Absolutely. Tonight, we celebrate those films in a, in a short block, which took about an hour and 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. We are now basically at halftime. Yes. Where we are, time. we are currently located in the high school cafeteria, and I gotta be honest, this is, this is nicer than my high school cafeteria. And you know what my high school cafeteria looks like, because you went to a high school adjacent. Well, I could also say that your entire high school was subpar, but that was not just back me. then. <laughs> not back then. Now there there could be questions, but we are currently in the high school cafeteria. Yes. Where the students and the parents and the teachers and the things of that nature have are, have gathered. Yeah, to... I almost want to claim some slight PTSD, but I enjoyed my high school time. No, I, it, I, I'm I having flashbacks here. Mm -hmm. And so they're going to have some some snacks. We're going to be fellowshipping and sharing a little bit. Yes. And then after a predetermined amount of time that we never remember, we think it's about an hour, mm -hmm. we're going to go back to the auditorium, and there will be awards given out for these films that we... Somebody thought we qualified to judge these things. Low ball. I'm not. I've done questioning. I'm past yeah. questioning at this point. And then we, as in this show and others of our ilk that are here, some of our colleagues in the industry, will be handing those awards out. Oh, really? And I, and I can say, 
this show is the reason that happened. The first couple years, Schubert just did them all. And we were like, you know what? No, no, no. You have to clarify which Schubert. Mr. Schubert. There you go. They refer to both of them as Schubert. Actually. But at the same time, we want to clarify. So in the second or third year we did this, we were like, you know what? Would there be room for us to, to give out awards? And they were like, we never thought about it that way, but sure. And ever since then, we have there, there's a group of us that will gather backstage and we'll rotate who mm-hmm. issues out the awards. And there's awards for everything. Best beginner film, best intermediate film, best direction, best cinematography. The whole just it's just like any other film award shows. Mm-hmm. But these are some incredibly talented. I, I don't I, I hesitate to call them kids. They're students. Young adults. Attention students. That's an old Saturday Night Live bit. Okay. Which no Saturday Night Live right now. Okay. Writer strike. Oh, that's right. We were spared the Pete Davidson experience tonight. <laughs> he was your musical guest. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yep. I mean, he was your host. Okay, because I had questions well, about what you said Well, the rumor was musical guest was going to be Foo Fighters. Which I would have been happy for. I would have been. I, you know, I love me some Foo Fighters. Same. New, new pinball table's amazing. This is a large gathering this yes, year, Yes, it too. is. And this, this gets bigger every year. This is one of the most students. talent-filled rooms I've yeah. been in. And it'll be interesting to talk to some of these kids. I need to get my program so I remember which films we're going to be talking about. Because there was a... I got my... And every year there is a theme. This year is, is Top Gun. Yes. Uh, the year they did Jurassic Park, Dave brought out the Jeep. Oh. And Mr. Schubert ran down the aisle in one of those inflatable T-Rex costumes. <laughs> and he got up at stage and he was like, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> um so I wish I still had mine. There is video evidence somewhere of me terrorizing an office building in Dallas with one of those on. As, as one does. And I did go to the cafeteria in the basement and was questioned because my tail got stuck in the door of the elevator. But let's let's do some housekeeping while we are waiting for, for things to settle in. Absolutely. Uh, next week, no shows. Okay. It's Mother's Day. Yes. Uh, so we will all be spending time with, with loved ones. Uh, I have The boys have already sent me on a mission for Jen's... Mother's Day gift. It has mm-hmm. been acquired. Good. Um, and plus now we have her parents up here. That's true. You have so two levels. So we have that. So my hope is that two weeks, or a week from tomorrow, or two weeks from tomorrow, mm-hmm. which would be the 21st, we are back to our normal cadence. Yes. Uh, but they will be home shows. Absolutely. Uploaded to our YouTube channel. Now, it won't be like normal where you're going to get it on Sunday nights. Mm-hmm. You will get podcast maybe on Sunday night. More than likely Monday morning. The best case is to have it for your Monday draw. Correct. And this show will drop on Tuesdays. Dig it. Because there's more involved now. And we'll talk more about that down the road. So would we call it Clubhouse U Tuesdays? No. Nah, it doesn't no. work that well. It, 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 I thought I had something, but I was happy. You're right there. at the goal line and you fumble. I'm going to be honest. I, I did teach Cleveland Browns this. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Now, we also are still trying to work out uh, the deconstructions because those are not yes. off the table. We're just rearranging some things. Absolutely. The other thing we want to talk about while we're getting all the housekeeping done, new website. Yes. Clubhousepodcast.com has been revamped. You have done an excellent job. Sir. Thank you, sir. I wasn't going to say it that way. but I will uh, take it. I hate my smile on that. I hate your smile all the time, so we're there. It's, it's accurate. Half of my collar is sticking up in that photo. We, we're redoing the photo tonight. Are you, okay, yeah, we, the photo basically just has my forehead based on height. We need a box that I can stand on. You want it to stand in the middle, sir. That is also fair, but it makes it better because otherwise I'm just a weirdo on the side. So, and we are in the midst of trying to figure out a a format for the PopCats website. Uh because that, that website, I want to set, set apart, itself apart. Now, with yes. the Clubhouse website, www.theclubhousepodcast.com. That's our website. I was really hoping Don would duck That's in our on website. That. You're too late. Yeah. Too I'm late. trying to work here. Well, you're hold on. Late. Hold on. You're about to lose the mic. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't do that. Uh, we have added a couple of sections. Yes. One section we have added are for our cur- current episodes that will house up to the 10 most recent episodes. Okay. We also have a section on the website now for trailers. So when trailers drop, what I'm doing is I'm putting a YouTube player embedded into the site so that you can see those. Very nice. Uh, Wix has also done some upgrades as well that I can do different things with, including our Instagram feed, which is very helpful. Awesome. So we've got a lot of cool things happening with the Clubhouse podcast as we are nearing 
We're, what, eight weeks away from the end of Season 13? I don't even know if it's a full eight weeks. It's just rounded. It's right there at Yeah. It. So getting ready for Season 14 coming up in July. I don't know that I've ever seen the line wrap around to our table. No, I don't think is, I've ever seen this. There's a lot of people. It's, it's a lot awesome. of people. Well, usually the line would definitely. No, but I'm talking about, I don't think I've ever seen this many people in the line like ever. Which is, it's pretty good. Yeah, it usually goes about there. Yeah. Uh, also available right now, you can uh, take a look at some of the panels that I've been working for Retro Expo. Excellently in, done. For video. Yes. We also have audio up right now on my YouTube channel, which eventually will wind up on ours, of my interview with uh, Francois Pettit, who mm -hmm. played Sub-Zero in the 1995 Mortal Kombat film. And if that, if that was enough, if that was all we talked about <laughs> for 40 minutes, like, that would have been fine. But doing my research on Francois Pettit, it just kept going. I was hoping you were going to go into this. And so, I, but I want people to go listen to that interview. And then this coming week, I'll be putting up my panel with Robert Costanzo and Mike Starr. Mm -hmm. uh, and we talk about, one of the things we talk about is that panel was called What a Character. Yes. And so I asked both of these gentlemen how they feel about the phrase character actor. I, you know, I could see that going two different ways. Some people know their niche, uh, Tobolowski, for example, mm -hmm. or some people might feel boxed in. By well, it. and they did a great panel together because they very, they, they're best friends, but they've never yeah. worked together. Interesting. They've worked different episodes of the same show, but that they've I know. never yeah. been on the same set at the same time. Can I ask a question? You just did. Can I ask a third question after this second? You one? may. Did the movie Forget Paris come up? I, I didn't go too deep into the catalog because I only had forty-five minutes. Okay. So I wanted to be able to cover as much because there were two of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about Ed, which is one of the the favorites of myself and the lovely and talented Mrs. Irvin. Mm -hmm. uh, that was one of our first appointment viewing shows. That in the West Wing. Yes. Yeah. And. Uh, so we talked, Mike Starr talked a little bit about that, and I have a picture in my phone that he let me take of him and Tom Cavanaugh that was in his phone. Oh, wow. And uh, Robert Costanzo, I had to text Charla and let her know I was interviewing Joey Tribbiani Sr., <laughs> yes. which made him giggle. Well, the, the reason I ask is because my selfish affinity for it is I consider Costanzo the underrated star of Forget Paris. It's a great film. Yeah. But I will tell you, when I was introducing myself to them that morning, all of a sudden, and I guess they do this when they're just hanging out, mm -hmm. they both do impressions of Danny Aiello. <laughs> and they were doing dueling Aiellos. And I was like, guys, hold on to this. I need this for the panel. And they did it. We did with, it right. With a they, piano. Just, they just went right in off the top. I was like, all right, I was going to say this, but let's go ahead yeah. and do the du dueling Aiellos. Um, they both had amazing stories to tell. That'll be going up this week. Again, audio only because we're working on how we can get video done for some of the shows that I'm working now. Mm -hmm. The next show that I am scheduled in quotes. I'm glad you said air quotes because this is an audio medium and you did do air quotes. I, it's not fully 100% official, but it's 99.9% official. Mm -hmm. But I will be moderating panels at Greater, As Greater Austin Comic Con yes. the weekend before my birthday. And that has a staggering list of celebrity it's, guests. It's getting bigger every day. Yeah. There's going to be a Revenge of the Nerds reunion. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about that. Uh, Julie Newmar is going to be there. So I'm not allowed within 50 yards. Got I will it. say five bucks says I don't get that pick. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> but I'm going to try. Nope. If I don't ask, they can't say it. Exactly. Uh, uh, th and that, that guest list just keeps getting bigger. It just does. And I'm very excited about that show. Uh we're getting some feedback somewhere. I just I think it's coming from those mics. I turned them off. Okay. Because we haven't had any sit there yet, so I'm not going to turn them on until we have people. Uh, but there is a lot of people. Don wearing his Wrexham jersey. Yeah. Yep. Are they, are they still jerseys? The whole they thing are, is called the kit. Yeah, it is a jersey, but it is an entire kit. And, and you know how, you know, and I, I say this show takes credit because they got promoted. Yes. After 19 years, no, 15 years. Uh, that was 15 years from promotion. It was 49 years since they won the league. Which is great. And we take credit because they didn't win the league, so we started working for well, them. Well, one of us has sponsored them on some level. And so. then we found out uh, there may be another friendly they're playing in America with the U.S. women's national team. 
Oh, well, they do have summer. a full docket mm. with so I'm that. I'm very club. excited about that as well. Uh, and it was verified this week. We are getting season two oh, because course. the caption of them holding the the trophy on FX's social media said, "Spoiler alert! Yes, season two of Welcome to Wrexham comes this fall." Very excited. A couple of things we can talk about real quick while we're waiting for Don to wrangle up some guests here. A couple mm -hmm. things I've watched recently. Yes. I am fully caught up on Ted Lasso. We have two episodes left. Nice. They got a lot to cover in two episodes. If this is really it, I I can't imagine it being. It. I am gonna be. I don't know how they have so much to wrap up. Mm hmm So we're gonna see how that works up. Um, I'm also fully caught up on the big door prize on Apple TV Plus. Um I They think don't sponsor us currently, episodes, but we can keep saying the name over and over again until they let us. Ten episodes maybe a little a few more than they should have had in that. Because it's based on a book. Okay. Uh, basically it's a small town where this machine appears out of nowhere over a weekend in their local convenience store. Mm hmm And you go into this machine, you put in your social security number, and you scan your fingerprints, and it spits out a card. And that card tells you your life's potential. And when things start to line up for people, it turns the town upside down. Chris Dowd is in it, who I'm a big fan of. Absolutely. But I, I'm just thinking 10 episodes may be a little much. Wait, oh, no, you're sitting down, sir. Oh, no, I can't sit down. <laughs> okay, how much time do we have? Um, you guys have about an hour. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah, about an hour. About an hour. Maybe an hour clocking from when? About about forty five is probably. Okay, so we're at forty five now. Yeah. All right, so we'll just wrap up top of the hour. Took a little longer than up for us to get here. Yeah, we'll we'll um, wrap up top of the hour. Do you have anyone you're excited to talk about talk to right now, or you just want me to kind of bring? Uh, Don's working on that. Okay, great. So that way you can do what you got to do, brother. If you can hear that voice in the background, that is Mr. Schubert, who very rarely sits down with us because he's ninety miles an hour. Even at film festivals, he's ninety miles yeah. an hour. It's yeah. insane. Yeah, tell us, brother. We were, uh, we've done all three of them as well. Have you ever seen him work at festival where he wasn't working himself today? John Strange is not wrong. That is a very Doc is, Doc Strange is not wrong. But as much as Thomas Schubert is one of the hardest working men in show business, that man, Doc Strange, gives him a run for his money. Mark Wickersham's also hanging out with us. We, there's, a, there's a Wickersham in the program. Yes, I saw that. I was like, I declare shenanigans? Hey. Okay, Mark claims he has never met this other Wickersham that is in the program. Kelly out of town this weekend. Yes, she is. Because she's been working just as hard as the rest of us the last three weeks. Well, I haven't been working very hard. Y'all have. Well, you've been working. You, you've been doing work in other areas, sir. I'll, I'll take that. This ain't that I got, I got corporate headshots to shoot next week. Where I'm driving back and forth to Fort Worth and Arlington. I told you, dude, you're one of the hardest working people I know. And let me tell you something. Not only is that man one of the hardest working people we know, the results that that man brings. He actually makes us look presentable. I don't know how he does it. It's, it's called it, Photoshop, sir. I, it, it's, it, no, it's not Photoshop. There's it's chiseling bad. involved. It's, it's okay, he's yeah. saying we can't be saved by Photoshop. It has to be magic. Oh, no. I, I, I totally, what do I always said? I have the perfect face for radio. I don't deny it. But... We, oh, wait, have we, have we, have, do we have people? Yes, yes. All right, I'm turning on mics now. Uh, she says hi, it's a senior. <laughs> a senior. <laughs> That's what you guys asked for? Uh, I, we asked for you guys. Oh, okay. okay. Get on that microphone. Get up on it. Hello. Here we go. All right, we are, we are. Okay. okay. Turn on those mics we, now. My All right. friends. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm not alone. Here, do we need another? No, we've got enough chairs. Okay. you got to sit down, too. Oh, you're going to be the cool high school guy that sits on the chair backwards? No. Oh, okay. I have never been cool, nor will I claim to be. That's fair. I, I am not going to deny that. The only thing I've way. ever been is the shortest in the class. All right, people who are much, much younger than us. Can't relate. People who were born and I was already married. Tell us who you are, because this is an audio medium, so they're not going to see you. I am Eli Tolson, and I'm from Real Elf Cinema uh, High School How program. many films were you involved in this I year? was in four. I was in two clown noses, uh, the Cum Laude trailer, uh, trailer the pilot, and uh, Trash Monster. All right. I want everybody to talk. Everybody's got to say something. Uh, my name is Chancellor Gilstrap. Um, I'm a senior at Garland High School, and this year I did three films. I was in the, the senior legacy film. I was in pilot, and then I probably worked on another film at some point, so I'm just going to count that one. Right. <laughs> if you were there, it counts. Yeah. Uh, hello, my name is Edwin Salmeron, and I've gone to Garland for four years in film, and this year I was only involved in one film, which was um, loud, the trailer. So, 
I don't know, maybe this is the first year I've noticed it. But this is the first year I've noticed a legacy film. Explain to people the concept of a legacy film. So basically, every single year, um, in a year, whenever you become a senior in the film department, you are tasked with making, with the entire class works on one film, and that's called the legacy film. And basically, it's our, our like... It's like a, like a send-off, like a goodbye. Like a goodbye. So it, could this maybe be the first year it was labeled that way on screen? Yes. Because I was like, wait a minute, is this a new thing? Because, like we were talking earlier, this is our sixth year doing this. So I was like, something, no, maybe? So it may be the first time it was actually on the screen. How do you pick it? We... Because how, how many seniors are there this year? Uh, this ten. year we had ten seniors in our class. So all right. It was it was a very rigorous process that we had. So we all we all created our own scripts and we submitted our scripts to the class and then we voted amongst ourselves and then whichever script was voted the best that's the uh, idea that we decided to do. But this I one was, was actually I was really hoping for Thunderdome. <laughs> well, there's too many seniors that are still living for it to have been Thunderdome on that one. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but. The question I have in that one was, so was it individual people writing scripts, or was it like a teams in aspects? Yeah, it was uh, all ten of us individually wrote our own scripts. So you had ten scripts to pick from. And you weren't able, was it a case where like, you can't vote for yours? Because then it would have been a ten-way tie. No, we definitely did. We definitely could vote for ours, right? Yeah, we yeah. could vote for our own, but we decided not to do that. Just to See, I, I found the person who voted there. for his first. <laughs> Because we were allowed to do that, right? Because I did it. Yeah, yeah I, I yep, definitely no. went for mine. Allegedly. <laughs> my favorite word in the English language. Gets you out of a lot of trouble. Are you at the point now because, Allegedly. I mean, this is, you're counting hours at this point. From four years ago to now. Yeah. Are you at the point yet where you've exhaled? Or are you just waiting until you walk the stage? Because I almost tripped on my way up. I'm not going to lie to you. That is a true story. Foot caught in the robe. Down went Frazier almost. Oh. Um. But have you exhaled yet, or are you still waiting for that moment? After this festival, because film has kind of been my main thing uh, mm -hmm. throughout my four years, after this festival, I might I will take a breath. But right now, I'm like really holding my breath because um, I really want my film to win. <laughs> <laughs> because and, and we talked about this earlier. You guys are going to have, have a little pizza, a little snacky snacks, Canes. little chicky nuggies. And then we're going to head back to the auditorium, which is my favorite part because they let us give out awards too. You guys have seen it. You guys know the drill. Any plans to continue this after a month from now? Yeah, I'm doing it for a career. Where? Um, I'm going to get my associates at community college. Smart and I'm, move. And I'm going to raise money for myself to go to um, a university to study film out in California, Chicago, or New York. Yeah, uh, me too. I mean, I've always loved film. Uh, that's why I've stayed in the program for four years. I love, like, I love horror movies. I love writing scripts. I love watching movies. I love analyzing movies. So even if I don't do film when I go into college, I'm definitely going to stay in the whole film film thing, and I'm going to try to just like further that see, and see that, where it That's goes. your lane. I don't do horror movies. I have a policy. I live by a code. I refuse to pay someone or give someone my time to try to make me pee on myself. Not doing it. I feel like it, you should have to go, and if they can make you mess yourself, you have to pay double the ticket price. They've no. earned it. No, I watched Renfield. That's as close as it's going to get, brother. And if you get invited... Uh, he still backs out. Nope. The he's only not, he's time not wrong. I no, don't. No, the only me. time he has shown up to a screener that would be considered horror was I don't want to call it by accident, but it was more horror adjacent like Renfield. Which one? I'm using Renfield as the example. Oh, oh, I, yeah. think, I thought there was another one. But no, I there knew may what have was been, going. but I don't yeah. remember stuff. I've had too many head injuries. What about you, my friend? Uh, I am going to pursue finance in college, but I still really love film, and uh, just me sticking through film for four years. Uh, proves that, and I just want to stay in film, and then, like at least a film club when I go to college. Now, with ahead, that sir. kind of an aspect, I said, "Go ahead, sir." Oh, sorry. No. For anybody that doesn't know, I only have one eye, so I have no idea what he's doing. He but, literally <laughs> is blind on my side. Yeah. So. But uh, with you wanting finance and you both wanting to stick with film, but everybody wanting to be involved in film, could you see yourself going into different aspects? Like, would you be going into acting or behind the camera or working on the finance side? finance for makes you a producer. I was getting there, oh, okay. sir. I'm just saying. I know you're used to talking through the whole I thing. I really am. Uh, I have yes, my uh, These four years of film have really uh, helped each and every one of us find our own niche within the film industry. So mm -hmm. some are editors, some are directors, some are cinematographers. So uh, just like being here it has given us like lots of pathways and lots of ways uh, to go into the future. So 
Awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, I've never been good in front of the camera. Uh, yeah. All of my stuff has been kind of like pre-production and post-production. I mostly just like like writing scripts and like analyzing the movies. So if I do go into into film after high school, that's what I'm trying to focus on, like writing stuff and analyzing stuff. I'm horrible at actually like shooting things. Is there a film that got that that you can point to that says that's the movie that got me into film? Yes. Go for it. Little Miss Sunshine. I love that movie. I it is like I want and that one Okja as well. Um, couple, that was a couple years ago. Yes, that was a couple years ago, and then obviously most recently Everything Everywhere All at Once. Best movie oh. of last year. Yep. And I'll fight anybody that says otherwise. I just yeah. I want to make good television that people can relate to, and television or film that people can relate to. Boy, that line is blurry. Wait. With with the way Netflix and, and Apple because mm-hmm. we were talking earlier about things like Ted Lasso and Ted Lasso, The Last of Us, uh, the the Big Door Prize is yeah. the one I'm watching right now. That line is blurring, sir. I wanted to say, so was pilot your passion project? If you're talking about TV, Pi- no, my passion project was Two Clown Noses, excellent. which was excellent. Excellent, thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> But I, the, the quick shift from film to TV was why I wanted to ask, especially since Pilot was on your list. Mm-hmm. And I, I also like that there was always a Pilot title card. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had to let you We're know. calling like, the show Pilot. Yeah. It but has nothing to do choice. with planes. <laughs> but the, the, the other question I have with that is, somebody did start clapping after like the third segment <laughs> of Pilot, and they're like, oh, it's still going. <laughs> All right, guys, is get, there a get, rule against Let me get you guys answers here. real quick, because we actually have a queue building up. This is awesome. What film got you into film? Um, I would say Hereditary. I mean, the first time I watched it, it was totally different than the second time I watched it. The first time I watched it, I had no idea what was going on. I had to watch a video on YouTube analyzing it, okay. and then I watched it again. Nichols worth of free advice. Avoid Bo is Afraid like the plague. Now, that is your opinion, sir. We have heard other people say they liked it. It's three hours of my life I will never get back. Have you ever seen Stalker? I'm going to go with me. Okay. That was don't, three hours of life. Don't I'll, see it. Don't, don't, don't watch it. it. Yeah, yeah Bo is Afraid, not great. I'm just gonna say it. What about you, sir? Uh, the film that got me into film was kind of boring, but I like rewatching old films. So the the first Jurassic Park, and specifically the scene of the book, the Lost Raptor, such for the kids in the kitchen. That's nice. My kid of all. That's an old film. Yeah, it's not an old. It film. is. <laughs> I was What's nine. College I was God nine. <laughs> there's a there's a, there's a but that is an excellent choice. There's a on decade all gap here, just so yeah. you know. So I want you guys to go get, get some food, get settled. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Best of luck tonight because we're not going to tell you who we voted for. Okay. All I know I is if you won, I totally <laughs> voted for you. <laughs> that is my blanket statement. Come have the seats. Come do the thing. They're like, we are not going anywhere near that table. <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome. Tell everybody who you are. Hello. My name is Nick Robinette. I'm in film four. What, were, what, what films were you featured in tonight? Get right up on that microphone, please. I was a please. co-director on Kung Lao. Yeah. On the Legacy film. Yes. Which we learned about for the first time today. I was today old when yeah. I learned about the Legacy yeah. film. <laughs> oh, I'm Gloria Caboin, and I was in Pilot, and I was also in Kung Lao. Oh, you want to come sit? Come sit. She's like, no, I'm okay. I'll be over here. <laughs> We're going to tag out She's scoping later. it out. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> She's trying to get a recon mission done. <laughs> What was it like, because there were so many student films, I mean, it was almost a two-hour block. What was it like watching all the other students' films while you were waiting on yours? Um, I actually enjoyed it, um, because film, I enjoy it, but it's not really my passion in life. So I really just, I like having happiness by osmosis, (laughs) as I like to say. Well, and that's something I was telling him, was watching how you guys support each other is one of the coolest things ever. Because you guys, especially as fourth year, you've got all these, these young people behind you that are about to step in their shoes. And I love that. Oh, okay. So keep in mind that I could lie about this, but I'm going to tell the truth. <laughs> I actually was not here to see most of them um, because I was working at like the elections. So if you voted, good job. If you didn't, see, it's Fully acceptable. Answer. That is a fully acceptable answer. Yeah. But oh, I no, did. I'm a horrible person. I would have ditched everything for the film festival. <laughs> yeah, That's fair. Um, I'll be honest. <laughs> yes, priorities. But, like, I've been hearing, like, everybody talking about them. So, you know, it's crazy because, like, we had a lot of good films this year. So I, I'm really upset that I didn't get to, like, see all I, When I got to the table of contents, I was like, wow. Because, <laughs> see, we, we, got, we actually watched the last 30 minutes last night because we had to leave early to come here to set this up so we were ready when you guys walked in the door. 
Or is there any, taking your bias out, anything that you weren't in that you thought was really, really cool? Um, well, I heard that um, Journal of a Teenage Girl was really good. Very good. So um, I'm sad that I didn't get to see it. So I'm probably going to bug Lily to let me watch it. <laughs> but um, yeah, that one, yeah. Um, for me, I just really like a lot of the stuff that Griffin Hudlow put out to th this time. Um, he had a lot of good stuff. He had that one horror movie. What was the name? Don't Look Back. Don't Look Back. That Don't one was back. good. And there was also the, uh, the film crew. The film crew. Yeah. I will know the confirm more tonight. Why I remember. I was like, dang. I wish I could do that. <laughs> oh, you can. <laughs> but that's the beauty of, of the, the program that Garland High School has. And I say this all the time. If this was a thing when this old guy was on that side of the table, like I was a band kid, I totally would have done that. Because I was the kid I, I, I was the kid in the third grade that pushed the projector into your class and you loved me because you knew you saw me. You didn't have to work for like the next three hours. And then when I was in high school, I worked at the movie theater and did the whole thing. And so the fact that they, we have high schools that do film departments, I think it's amazing. It, has it sparked a possible career choice for you? No, I am actually going into elementary school education. Nice. But I do, I learned a lot about myself and about others from the film program. Like, shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Schubert. Are they not amazing? Like, they're, they're just great. Yeah. Uh, no, it had not like, sparked, like, a career choice for me. But it's definitely going to be something that I'll do as a hobby. Because it just, I don't even know. Like, going into film, I was doing it for the credit. <laughs> and then I stayed just because, like, I loved it so much. And I loved, like, writing. I loved being a scriptwriter. So I definitely think it'll be something that I, like, keep doing as a hobby. We are now, did you have something, sir? Go ahead. I, I was going to say, so you were talking about it not sparking a career choice, but talking about loving writing. Is there a possibility that that winds up evolving into something that you may want to do as a career? It might. Okay. It might, yeah. The summer movie season has officially started as of yesterday. <laughs> it's true. It's the first week of May. Yeah. Guardians 3 hit. Are there any films right now you're looking forward to seeing as a movie goer? What's on your radar right now? And it could be something that's already been out, something that's coming out. Barbie. Barbie. The Barbie movie. That looks amazing. I, I, I want to see the original script because originally it was Amy Schumer. And so when Margot Robbie was like, hey, I'll do it, they're like, we're going to need to change the script. <laughs> but it looks it looks fantastic. Yeah. Um, for me, probably the Barbie movie. And I'm really excited for Ahsoka because I am a Star Wars fan. And I've always loved Ahsoka. I loved her in the mm -hmm. Clone Wars. I'm just, I'm hyped. And I hope that they don't let me down. How many months have I been saying this? How many times You're have I been like, saying like, I no. don't. Yeah, I'm not saying that I you love don't. Me but some time. I, I have literally been holding Sean hostage to watch Clone Wars to understand my love for Ahsoka. Okay, She's so the best. Here, you want your piece of trivia for today? You know who Bruce Lee is, right? Of course I okay, do. Okay, so stay with me. <laughs> Go back to her first episode in season two of The Mandalorian. When she goes into that, that village and mm -hmm. she fights that lady, mm -hmm. that lady is Bruce Lee's stepdaughter, goddaughter. That is a true story. Look it up. That's crazy. And she learned from him. So yeah. her fighting style came from... It's like, yeah, Bruce Lee was my godfather. Are you <laughs> kidding me? And, I, and she, I, the way they presented her to translate her from the CG to, to, the, to the, the real life, I was like, okay, you have me. Yeah, yeah. And Mandalorian getting ready for their two-hour movie. Yep. Kevin doing Kevin things. His name is Kevin. Let's be real. It's not Grogu or whatever. His name is Kevin. As long as you don't say Baby Yoda, it's okay. Because he's not. Yeah, well, we don't think so. He's not. He's a clone. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to say anything here. I am just not. We are this, running on We're, we're wasting people's it's, time. Today's also free comic book day, so I've been doing free comic book day stuff oh. all day. Yeah. So, When is graduation? Um, May 27th. Is that been? Yeah. On a, uh, that's the holiday weekend. Yeah, it is. That's Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. You guys ready? Yes. I am yeah. So ready. Yeah. Congratulations on everything. You guys all did an amazing job tonight. Go hang out and do the things, and we'll talk to you guys here in about an hour or so. Okay. Food, thank you. Food, food is good. Did you tell me you had Diego going on the show for about an hour? We, no. We, well, he wasn't on the show for an hour. At least a half hour. We, but we had him on the show. And where was Jorge this year? We didn't get to see Jorge no, no. at the diff this year. All right. We're tagging out. Tell me who you are.
Microphones are things. Um, I'm Liliana Olivares. Get right on top of it so I can hear you. I'm Liliana Olivares, mm-hmm. and I'm a senior in film. What would you work on? I worked on... Hold on, let me check. <laughs> I gotta read my <laughs> name. The, the <laughs> number of people reading <laughs> off their name tags You're is making me laugh You're not wrong. Yeah. It's like... Yeah. But there's so much that has happened. For yeah. That's, <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. Um, Journal of a Teenage Girl, Two Clown Noses, uh, The Cum Laude Trailer, and Trash Monster. Trash Monster is cool. Get right up on that thing. I'm Chase Lynn Meredith, and I'm also a film for. I worked on Trash Monster, What About Bees, Two Cloud Noses, and the Kumla trailer. Get right up on that thing. <laughs> My name is Kathy Saldana, and I worked on Trash Monster, Pilot, and Two Cloud Noses. That is a stellar lineup on that side of the table right now, sir. <laughs> yeah, I feel inferior. I'm used to it. Oh, fair enough. I call that Tuesday. <laughs> Let's, let's talk about what you guys have in common first, because I want to get to the documentary. Trash Monster was cool because it was very stick and move. Mm-hmm. Talk about what it took to condense that into, like, the two minutes you had, but still were able to tell the story. Um, well, what was it? Trash, trash Monster? Trash Monster. Uh-huh. Trash Monster was... How long? It was, like, 28 seconds. 28 like, yeah, seconds. It was, um, it was, it was, that, that's I, literally what I was just looking at. I blinked, and there were credits. Yeah. But you still were able to tell that story in less than 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, well, we kind of, it was for, it was a PSA, War Best Trailer mm-hmm. slash PSA, and mm-hmm. we kind of just, like, drove out to the woods, and we're like, okay, what do we do? And we just threw it to kind of together, and then we went back to our director's house and just started editing it, and we just came out with that. See, how this how is how not making me feel better. We went out to the woods, <laughs> threw it together, and it's better than anything I've ever made. Thank you for that. not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much footage did you shoot? How long? How long were you out there doing principal? Well, we were we were probably out there for like thirty minutes, which is not getting better. <laughs> thirty minutes, and that I'm, I'm waiting for the story. I'm waiting for the the triumph, and it's just like no, we just shot a thing, and yeah. now it's a thing. There was like we had an idea. We're awesome. Run the camera. Do it. <laughs> but and it came out well. Like, what was it like sitting there watching it happen? Like, because you've watched it easily a billion times since okay. you shot it. Yeah. But now you're in an auditorium full of people. Were you able to block out the noise and just watch the thing? Or were you listening for people to react? Personally, I was kind of covering my ears because I <laughs> did not want to watch it. Um, like, I was very bothered by the quality drop because <laughs> I think one of us like sent a version that was like sent over Instagram, <laughs> so <laughs> that's what got submitted. But that's the first was, on the show. There was like I an sent a HD copy over version Instagram. of it. It just did not show this time. So you're saying there's a better version? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh wow. What about you? What was it like watching your work up there in sort of a room full of people? I thought it was cool because that was really the first time I saw it. I watched it like on the big screen, you know. And I like seeing the audience's reaction. I think it turned out good. All you guys did an amazing job. This this is actually one of our favorite shows we do every year. Absolutely. Because we get to see people's creative talents. But let's talk about the documentary real quick. Cause I was watching this thing. There is a level of vulnerability there that I was, that I had to like, at one point I had to pause it and just take a break because I was like, this is, this, this runs, this runs deep. Yeah. <laughs> talk about, talk about, was that originally your intent to do it or did it just kind of wind up that way? So um, for the IB film, um, one of the tests is that we have to submit a complete three minute film. Um, and, you know, I've, I've been in film for four years, but I feel like I haven't really produced some, like, a, like a favorite three-minute film. So I, I wanted to make a three-minute film just completely by me. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's what I had. Like, I, I think so much. I'm just always, like, in my head and, like... I, and that's reflected like through my journal entries, and I just—is that what you did? You read life. your journal entries as the voiceover? Pretty much. Like I wow. just went to my notes app and I copy and pasted what I thought was mo- like most interesting or whatever, and I put it together. 
Now, how long were you shooting for those individual films? I know some of them are archived from back in the day that weren't there necessarily was, there was you, definitely there a was, lot of jumping. But it was incredibly no, put I together. Know, I know yeah, exactly I, what you're yeah. saying, but yeah, I know, I know where you're coming but from. But I, I was curious because I, I, I figured, like, okay, she absolutely, this is a real journal. But how long were you doing, like, video journals? Or were these just separate videos that you had? Um, yeah, so I, I, I didn't have any intention of, like, with those videos, like, putting them in something. They were just videos from my camera roll. Like, mm. they, they, they were all just photos and videos that I had taken because um, sometimes I can be a bit, like, focused on my self-image and I just record myself, take pictures a lot. So, yeah. And you mentioned in that you are going to the University of Colorado? Yes. In the fall? Hanging out with, uh, with Prime Time. He's going to be there. What about you guys? What's next? I'm going to the University of Texas at Dallas to study computer science. That is a beautiful nice. campus. Friend of the show, Henry Pham, went there. Yes. Um, I'm going to Texas A&M Commerce University for music education. Lions? Is that the yes. A&M Commerce Lions. See, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm getting See, it. I hear A and M, and I just tune out a little bit. I'm sorry. Hey, you leave, <laughs> you leave the greatest <laughs> conference in college football out of this because the SEC is amazing. It is. Don't deny. I'm not deny. It. deny. When have I ever disagreed I'm with you? I'm just saying. Don't deny it. I, I lost my train of thought. Well, I'm gonna fully. We, cop. We, I actually cried watching the we diary. I, I, I'm, I'm I not did even. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I can that's imagine. <laughs> Because it, it, the vulnerability, I could just imagine, like, if I could even put myself remotely in that position, I'd be like, yeah, I would just be faking that I'm dying and leave. I can't, I I can't do this. That, I, I was originally planning to just leave before it, and then suddenly it was on screen, and I had forgotten because I was watching the other film. And, <laughs> and then I just had like, to sit I there. I got a thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so one quick question, I'm going to let you guys go hang out. What's the what's the movie coming out or is out now that you're most looking forward to seeing? I love this is one of my favorite questions to ask, especially at this show, because I want to know what you guys are looking forward to. Barbie. <laughs> you're not wrong. This the film looks amazing. It took social media by storm a couple I'm weeks not ago. over the term Kennergy yet. That's my problem. <laughs> I that's, this is the first time I've heard it, so I You have not I don't uh, watch I try him. not to watch trailers. It wasn't in the trailer. All I saw was the things and the pictures on the social media. Okay, we're taking their time away. Please. Right. Um, I'm excited for it. It came out last night, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. It's amazing that you could probably find a review for that at www.thefloodhousepodcast.com. <laughs> that is our website. Thank you. Um, I'm also looking forward to Barbie. And then there's this one new film that has Rob Pattinson, or is going to have Rob Pattinson, and I love Rob Pattinson. I don't know what he's got coming up. I am drawing a blank as well, but I did love the on, Batman. They're working on the second Batman. I know that. Yeah. We'll have to look into that one and get it. But if I may step back. Please, sir. Is there anywhere that the cleaner cut of Trash Monster is going to be posted? Or would you like to send it to rob at theclubhousepodcast.com and we'll put it on the site? We, we'll, sure. We can do that. Yeah. Can, I, I have the technology. Yes, you do. Because I run the website. Oh, wait, uh, is that happening already? No. <laughs> oh, oh. I got excited. I was like, we'll do it by the end of the show. No, we're, we're, in, this, we're in the cafeteria. The cell coverage is terrible. In here. Really they don't is. know that. I, we're posting this later. And I think it's. I think there's a reason. All right, yeah. you guys. You guys go enjoy the rest of the evening. We're going to see you guys back in the auditorium here in just a few minutes. Thank you guys for Thank sitting you. down with us. Man, that was a breakneck pace on this episode. Yeah, it was. It started we, out. We started out. Uh, oh, my God. We are. Finishing top of the hour. Yes. So, oh, we're, or but we it's have, eight till. We have more. Don, you gotta watch the time because we have to be off at the top of the hour. Yeah, we got eight. Yeah, yeah he came by at the top of the hour. And as if that wasn't enough talent sitting across the table from us last time, now I feel even further inferior because you, you guys are. crushed it. And what you uh, worked on? Hi, I'm uh, Griffin Hudlow, and I worked on uh, Don't Look Back and uh, After Hours Street Art. I'm forgetting now. <laughs> it's on your name tag. <laughs> <laughs> This one thing the I first have, person who tries to remember it and we I have learned tonight is it's on the name tag. Uh, then you're my way home, and the film, the film club. Sure. All right, the film group. Dang it! Uh, Talk right to that microphone, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Farzin Tanha. Uh, I worked on trying on faces after hours, the film crew, and the immigrant experience. 
Uh, my name is Stuart Aldrete. I worked on, uh, which ones did I work on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my name tag. tag. I don't know. Uh, I don't even have a name tag. They didn't give me one. But I worked on You're My Way Home, and I also worked on Don't Look Back. I want to talk about You're My Way Home a little bit. Because this is Alex's first year doing this show. There is a band, and the band that does the song, uh, I just lost their name. Uh, I, I come to Shanghai. I came, I came to Shanghai. They actually give the kids rights to the music for them to make the videos from. And that cuts off a question I had. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. and that's, they basically get the access to their catalog, and there's at least one or two every year that they do. Awesome. When you're trying to, because when you're doing something like film crew, after hours, don't look back, you, you control the time frame, right? Because it's your narrative. When you're doing a music video, that artist is controlling the time frame. Does that change your approach to the filmmaking? Uh, I mean, yeah, sh sh sure. Like it, um, at least the the lyrics, the uh, the story that ha it has an impact on the story a lot, and um, even the beat has like uh, you gotta you gotta time things with the same beat, you know. Like if the character is realizing something, then like the bass has got to drop, or you know, like make it more powerful. The bass hits, and everybody's just standing there. That doesn't work yeah, at all. Yeah. But because I've also always found music video production. I feel like that would be more, a little bit more stressful because you're contained to that. Can be? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> um, you're contained to that 305, that 310. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you're working on something like After Hours, I, first of all, is there a director's cut, and how long is it? Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of the mockumentary in general. With After Hours, we we actually had an idea. Well, in the original script, right, we had multiple classrooms. So he would be going in multiple classrooms, yeah. maybe messing things around. But then, uh, you know, we were <laughs> we were told to cut the time down, so we only made it one classroom. Oh, After Hours yeah. is the mockumentary. It's the film crew that's the mockumentary. Yeah. Yes. yes. But no, no, After, After Hours, hours was, was still, awesome. Visually, it was awesome. Yeah. No, I wanted to hear, like, is there a half-hour cut that you did just because with all of that? Because I, I know we're not supposed to say anything, but I can say all three here, mm. at least in strong consideration for best. I to will me, neither, I will confirm that. With film crew, after hours, don't look back. All three of you stood out immensely to me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Film three. Yeah, we're all film three. Oh, so you got another year. Yeah. 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 I don't even go here. <laughs> I don't even go here. <laughs> That's like the second time this month somebody has said that on this show. Is it? <laughs> Is there anything, because, you know, film four, right around the corner, is there anything you're already planning, or does that man right there dictate everything? No. Uh, actually, don't I worry, do. you don't have to turn around. It's Mr. Schubert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, there's films that I'm planning currently. Well, they're not in production currently, but we're soon starting a production. You See, know, he already knows Hollywood talk. <laughs> we're, what am I doing? Of course he does. <laughs> I'm oh, pointing well. out that he's the VP. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember, I don't have my glasses on. I can't get the glasses and the earbuds and the headset. <laughs> right. Um, so, for our next film project, we, we already have that. We're about to start production on it. Uh, last year, I did uh, John the Musical, right? That was fun. Which, uh, I love John the Musical, so for, on, for my next film, I'm doing like a sort of rat battle type I'm tournament. here for it. I'm full I'm, on here for it. I'm excited to make it. That's why. Yeah. Is there, a, is there a filmmaker that you look up to more than the others? Ooh. Man. Filmmaker. What, I'm going to be honest. So, the Robert Rodriguez, the director, he made the Spy Kids films and Sharkboy and Lava Girl when I was growing up, and those have always been my favorite. Oh, hold on. I need to go find back pain medication. Ooh, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> just... I got half a century staring no, at No, we don't want to drop off in talent. What about you guys? Uh, well, you know, I'm inspired by those, uh, I guess, uh, Wes Anderson is a big one that... Uh, I love that people are doing what if, what, like, no, apparently there's one out there like, what if Wes Anderson directed the Avengers? Um, yep. Yeah. And I love that video. And then SNL did, like, if he did a horror film. <laughs> that was awesome. That's cool. And then, um, uh... James Cameron, I, I love his work, but uh, I heard he's not the nicest guy. 
I have heard the same. <laughs> I may want to work with him someday. I will refuse to answer. Okay, but... He did stupid boat movie and Thunder Smurfs. I'm out. <laughs> I don't care if he did, if he did T2. Stuart? Uh, as far as directors, I'm not really into the, the directing movies. I enjoy it, but I'm not like as into them as into it as they are. I can say like as actors, uh, I really look up to um, people like uh, Oscar Isaac. Uh, but he wants all the geek cred right now. What? Him and Nathan Fillion want all the geek cred. It's like, is that a geek? Cred? I'm doing that. One. Yeah. <laughs> but me, me personally, I look up to him because I'm like, I'm a Latino, and so when I look, when I see people that uh, are kind of in the same background as me doing things like that on the big screen, I always think, wow, I, maybe I could do that too. So, is he one of those guys that if you just see his name on the marquee, I'm there. I don't care what it yes, is. Yes, exactly. Right. I don't know if I've got anybody like that anymore. Sorry? I don't know if I've got anybody on that level. Like, I don't, it, cause granted, I did see Tusk, so Kevin's on that list. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I was actually talking to somebody about that yesterday, trying to explain A24. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Kevin Smith nerd. I have been since 94. Um, he made a huge announcement on social media this week. But I think he's probably the one, like, his name's on the marquee. Right. There. Um, Spielberg is always going to be Spielberg. Right. Fableman, and I'm one of those people like I like Fablemans. I didn't love Fablemans. Yeah. Like, it, I was kind of when I was watching the screener I had, it, I felt like it dragged. I, once Judd Hirsch showed up, though, like then that movie was off to the races. Do you guys spend a lot of time reading, looking up stuff on the filmmaking process, or do you kind of feel like it's better for you and, and from the acting aspect, or do you just feel like I, I learn more as I'm doing it? So when it comes to like the production, so oh, <laughs> so for a project for our class, we had to do research on certain films, right? And so I watched Furious Seven, right? Furious, <laughs> Fast and Furious. I always, I always like Fast and Furious. Furious Seven was really good. Then I watched the behind the scenes, and I was like, I'm like imagining them just holding the cars up, and I'm <laughs> yeah. like, this, this doesn't seem as well as I thought. Yeah. All, all you have to say about that series is the rock punches a torpedo. <laughs> that's all you need. Like, that's the entire series right there. Right. And they went to space in a Pontiac Fiero. I still can't. I'm still no, trying I'm to get still mad fish. at that. I'm still mad at that. What about you? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I do some research, but, uh, you know, like, you really learn the most from, like, doing it and then, like, seeing your mistakes. And like all right, well, they're giving us the high sign because we're getting ready to go back across the, across the way. Right. Looking forward to seeing what you guys do next year. Cause Absolutely. As long as they'll have us, we'll keep showing up. And credit to Stuart for being the first guest to actually just move the microphone to himself all day. <laughs> I've always said that when we do these remote shows, when we're dealing with people in the entertainment industry, how come none of them know how to use a microphone? I, I've never understood it. Well, all three of them got it. As long as they got it. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you for right, getting ready you. to thank wrap up. It's almost time to go back to the auditorium and uh, give out some hardware. Yes. Which did that again? This is one of my favorite shows we do every year because we get to see literally the future of the industry. There's a page yeah. in the manual in our program tonight of previous senior classes yes. and what they've accomplished. And I think this is the first year they put that in the program, which I think is amazing. You know, seeing that these kids sticking with film and sticking with art. Up. Oh. Up. Oh, we're getting the youngs. All right, so let's go ahead and do the plugs and get out of here. <laughs> you know, there's. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was fuzz. All right, let's do the plugs so we can get back to the auditorium. We got Schubert on the show finally. Yes, we did. <laughs> Make sure you bookmark our website, www.theclubhousepodcast.com. The newly minted, if you will. Find out everything you need to know and some stuff you don't. You can follow me on your social medias if you would like. Everything is Yes, That Rob Urban. That is spelled E-R-V-I-N. I am Vexploit on all social media. If you'd like to help out the show, we just re-uploaded the designs to prowrestlingtees.com and if you search by the cheap podcast you can find all of those in a lot of different color variations and that URL to get those awesome shirts that make me look good prowrestlingtees.com slash cheap podcast at twitter I'm in boogoo at UUU. and real fast horror fans of the world are rejoicing because we got King Chucky today 
Charles, I don't know Chuck what that, That's your boy. I, no, that is far from. That is a man who has tried to kill me with food by bringing seeds. <laughs> you want this madness at your place, email me, Don, at theclubhousepodcast.com. Email Don for information on how we can get him to do the live show, just like we're doing tonight at your establishment. And God bless you if you do. You can email me questions, comments, concerns, tell me to go pound stand. I am Rob at theclubhousepodcast.com. Next week, we will be off for Mother's Day, but we might have a little surprise for you on the YouTube channel. So until next time, for Alex, for Don, for the Empire, for all of our guests tonight, thank you, Garland High School, for having us. I'm Rob. Clubhouse is closed. Brittany Palmer, back to work last night, doing what she does. Mm -hmm.